So I'm going to revert this machine to RC8 snapshot. Okay, and let's move on to slide 32. Okay, and for and for this lab, I actually this is basically repeating the, the two lab we just uh, finished. So please go ahead and then use the sample hydra, and then please uh, find find how this malware uh, persists by using you know, either which registry keys or which directories file system. So I'm going to start the, uh, the VM, which is in clean state. And start all runs. And I'm going to make the snapshot of the clean state. All right. Then go to the uh, malware samples directory. And I asked to run Hydra. Okay. okay, now you see the uh, malware has disappeared. Right? And we will learn about you know how this malware actually uh, uh, delete itself. You know, to basically another way of being you know still uh, using some simple techniques. And let's go back to all runs and do the compare. Um, before compare, I should refresh the all run list. And now I'm going to do compare. All right, it's good. I'm already seeing the uh, green entry here. So one thing has been changed. All right, so let's go to um, slide 32. It says, okay, observe what files are created in which directories. Do you see, in, do you see which files are, are created in which directory? I actually already have it open, right? Does it use, uh, is this in malware actually creating a file and copying to a certain directory to be persist? Anyone can answer it, answer the question? So the question is, is this in malware create a file into a certain directory to persist? Sure, like it. <laughs> the answer is for sure, but uh, but you can, yeah, that's, you know, it does create a file. A file. It does. It does yes. However, is it creating the file into certain directory? You know to persist. For, then, then and the question. Another thing. Uh, uh, another way to ask is: Is it does uh, does every file? Underneath Windows System 32 runs automatically. Oh right, okay. It's being done as a service instead of going into a directory. Right. So, so it is the answer is no, basically, right? Because certain directory here, and one of the example was like a startup directory, right? Underneath like a user profile. So, files created underneath certain directories, they are supposed to run automatically. But in this case, you know, Windows System 32, it is not the directory that you know any file underneath will gonna run automatically, right? So the answer is uh, for that one is uh, no. However, how does it per does it persist? Is the answer is yes, right? And how does it persist? Service. Right. Okay. Yes, it it registers itself as a service, right? And as you. Yesterday we learned about the services and specifically we run up, run up, learn learn about the uh, SVC host, right? It looked like you know, okay there is a res resmon.dll 
has been registered as a service, but it is a DLL, right? You see, it started with the RAS, right? It trying to be basically sneaky again, right? It's like a RS, RAS is like a remote how, how many access points service. Are, huh? Hiding in plain sight. Yeah, how, how does it called? Hiding, hiding in plain sight. In plain sight, okay, hiding in plain sight. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, it's you know name look you know trying to be looks like a legitimate name right but it's not actually and let's see the uh, it does you know is one of the service right here okay so the uh, answer uh, to the question observe what registry keys are created or modified so and the answer we're gonna be okay services it has been uh, modified right. Let's, uh, let's go. Actually, it's, uh, it's easy to say. Uh, no, not easy. It's the right way to say it's been created. Let's see. I think it is a. It was a value, so it's not actually a key. But uh, let me let's let me go first. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you change? Did you right Oh, yeah, that's stage. true. That is true. Yeah, I thought that one. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Jump to... Right. Jump to the key. Okay. And so answer is. Yes, it is a key because a registry key is a container, right? Like a folder, but this one is a value, right? So yes, it is the key. R A S three K, you know, I has been created, right? And when you go to parameter, you see the resmon.dll here, right? And this is when it, in order to run, it actually register as a service, but it is uh, running as a DLL service, so it does use a SVC host. And then the group it belongs to is uh, net service, net SVCS, right? And I am going back to the, uh, okay, now I'm looking at actually slide 33, slide 33, and let's go to the, um, the registry path. That you can see uh, this you know, the new service start reading uh, RAS. I'm sure that you probably have different name than uh, I have. So that one has been added to the net uh, net services uh, uh, service group, right? So let me go that uh, registry key software Microsoft. And I'm actually looking at the uh, registry path that is listed at the end of slide 33. Okay. Here, even I was uh, myself was slightly confused because the uh, third, uh, on the slide 33, it doesn't say that whether it's a registry value or a registry key here, right? You see the registry key, then you don't see uh, nothing. But when you actually see SVC host uh, registry value, then you will see the net SVC here. So I'm not sure whether there is actually a way to indicate, oh, this is a key or this is a value, but I'm sure there is a, some convention. Uh, but let's see. When I scroll it down here, this is a service name that I kind of random after the RAS. That's the one that uh, on my this VM, uh, this service has been created. So you will have a slightly different name, right? Okay. Any question about this lab? So now the, the service host exe is actually calling that DLL, is that correct? Yes, calling it is more uh, when the SVC host loaded the base dash K and then the group name and everything DLL is being loaded together and they start start together. And actually how the DLL, you know, the execute itself, you know, once it loaded, because once it loaded, Actually, you know, if you not calling the functions, you know, nothing. But it's just it's a, intuitively nothing should run. 
but there is uh, some code actually runs automatically. So, and then I'm going to explain that a little bit later. Okay.